Hello everyone, welcome to another Mass Planner video tutorial. The dashboard is the first part of the interface that you'll see once you log into your Mass Planner. It has several tabs. It has the Summary tab, Statistics, What's New, Contact Support, and Notifications. Under the Summary tab, you'll find information about the actions executed by the application. You can also see if there were any errors reported on a certain action that a social profile executed. At the bottom of the dashboard, you will see copy errors to clipboard. You can use this when sending emails to the Mass Planner support team via contact support. Then you also have an option to show only errors on the dashboard. You can toggle between showing only errors on the dashboard if you want to spot a certain error or you can click on show all and it's going to show all the status for each social profile actions. Then you have here show status info for and there's a drop down menu. You can choose which specific profile account you want to show on the dashboard. Let's say for example this account. Then it will only display the status for that particular account. Now let's move on to the statistics tab. From here you'll find a graphic representation of the daily average posts and the daily average action of each tool for each account. Under posting you'll see the social profiles added to your account. You will also have the information for the total number of posts, number of minimum posts per day, and number of maximum posts per day as well as the average post per day and the number of followers. You can toggle between social profiles and platform views. On the tools sub tab you'll see the different tools for each account and the average action the tool did for a particular account. Let's say for example let's choose Twitter and we are going to look at the average follow action for that account. You can click on the number under the tool column and it's going to display the graph on the table above. You also have an option to choose the start and the end date of what you want to display on your screen. Let's now go to the What's New tab. From here you will see all the information that was included in a certain software update like for example an added requested feature or bug fixes and you will also have the information about the version and when it was released. Then you have the contact support tab. This is your go-to tab if you want to contact the Mass Planner support team. All you have to do is enter your concerns on this text box, give as much detail as possible and you can tick the option to send product logs to investigate your issue if you have encountered any error. You have a drop down menu for select a category. You can select from installation and login, payment, affiliates or bugs and so on. Once you're done you click on send ticket and it will be sent to the support team. Finally you have the notifications tab. This is where you'll see any notifications like for example if there is a warning issued on a certain account and things like that. That's pretty much everything about the dashboard. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.